Hello everyone and welcome back to this third NEM video. In this video we will go through how to create namespaces and how to create mosaics. Uh, and we're going to do this because in the next video then we're going to program them. So we're going to include them in our uh, little uh, JavaScript file so that instead of just doing transfers with coins, we're going to do transfers with mosaics and see how we can include those in transfers. Because that's really what brings the NEM platform to life. The ability to have your own mosaics uh, which can be compared to tokens on other blockchains. So here you have the opportunity to, uh, well, mosaics, they're <clears throat> so mosaics are mainly made for being able to uh, digitalize and to uh, tokenize assets. So you can have digital assets, you can have real life assets, then you create a mosaic that represents them, and then you have total control of that mosaic. For In order to create your mosaic, you'll first need a namespace, and a namespace is uh, sort of like a domain name. You'll need a namespace in order to store all of your mosaics there. And a namespace must be unique, the root namespace, and then you can have multiple sub namespaces under that. Just like you can have domains, which must be unique, and then you have subdomains under that, which can be, uh, which, which don't have to be specific on a global level, but need to be uh, unique on the, uh, on the domain level. So we do this, in the services tab because in order to create the mosaic you will need to have a namespace to store it in uh, so this will probably not be available to you if you haven't created a namespace already uh, and this is by the way in the nano wallet which you should have downloaded if you followed along this tutorial but then you hit create namespace and here you'll fill in uh, if you don't have if you haven't created anything before you will just have this uh, option here new new root namespace and then the namespace name and uh, you'll fill in a name here. Uh, let's see if uh, the Philip. Uh, let's do Philip's namespace. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. I already have one that's called Philip, which is my name. Uh, so I'm just going to do this for test purposes. And then you will also need uh, uh, need to have enough coins here. You need to have enough XEM on your account. So this will cost you. 100 uh, coins in fees and then zero sorry in uh, in the rental fee and then in the normal transaction fee i guess it's 0 0.15 and if you don't have enough funds you can go to this faucet that i think i showed you in the first video the url is up here uh this is uh, a japanese uh, faucet but it's the only one working at the moment that i have found so you'll fill in your address here and then you click this box i'm not a robot and then you hit request they will get some funds uh, to your wallet. Uh, you should get like 100 or something. Then you can use those in order to create this namespace. You'll also find that link in the description uh, if you need to, uh, need to go there and get your funds. Uh, you type in your password here. Then you hit register. Transaction successfully sent. Uh, so this, the name had to be unique, of course. Uh, so if, if it wasn't, you'd probably get an error. You need to find a unique name for your namespace. Now we can look at our unconfirmed transactions here and see that the uh, namespace is now an unconfirmed transaction. This usually goes pretty quick, but once it has ended up in the confirm tab here, we can go ahead and create our mosaic. So once that is confirmed, we can uh, see it here in the confirm tab, but then we can go to services once again and hit create mosaic. And here you can choose which namespace you want it to be in. So for the purpose of this video, I'll choose Philip's namespace and they can have a mosaic. So this does not have to be unique for the entire global network. This would just have to be unique for your namespace. I can call this coin and I can have a description here, the best coin in the world. You can uh, have whatever description you want. And here you can set the properties. And this is quite interesting because you are in total control uh, of this. So initial supply, maybe I just want a hundred and you can have the number of uh, uh, number of units you want here. If you just want to have uh, entire units, meaning you don't have any uh, you know cents or parts of your coin. So you can see here if you add two, you add two decimal points here, and you can go all the way up to six, I believe. Yeah, six is the maximum. And I'm just gonna have zero or maybe one. Let's do one. And here we'll see the full name. You can change that. That is your namespace followed by a colon and your name of the coin or your mosaic, sorry. And this is quite interesting as well, because here you can uh, uh, check or uncheck if it's transferable or not, meaning if you can transfer it to other people. Uh, 
You can also check if it's going to be immutable or mutable. Uh, if it's immutable, you can't change the supply afterwards. If it is mutable, the owner can change the supply whenever he or she wants. Uh, you can also check here if it requires Levi or not, and Levi is a fee. Uh, so that whenever someone does a transfer with your mosaic, you can choose that they're going to pay a fee. And you can pay that fee in whatever mosaic you want. So you can pay it in the XEM coin that is used by NEM, or you can pay it in any other of my coins. You see, I have multiple ones here. I have three coins in, in my other namespace, coin, Philip coin, and score. So I can choose whatever I want. And I can have a Levi fee here for uh, maybe 5%, five, five like so. Uh, and then you can see the uh, progress here uh, of the... Uh, how much uh, fees will actually be paid out. And you can see how it changes. Uh, you can have a lot of fees here. Uh, and this is in sort of, I don't know, this is micro something. But you can see it's, it's very small. Uh, but you can specify that and then the, uh, the Levi address, where the, where, the, where the fees are actually going to go. And probably it's the creator account maybe. So if you build a huge application and you want people to use your mosaic to do things like a utility token, you can specify a fee that is built in so they will automatically pay a fee when someone transfers it. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna have a huge fee here. Let's do it like that. And I'll fill in my password here. Uh, and then click send. Transaction is successfully sent. This costs uh, 10 coins to create, uh, plus this little fee here. Then you can once again check this uh, dashboard here to see that transaction. And once that is done, you will have your own token on the NEM blockchain, your own mosaic. And uh, that is for this little short video. Uh, in the next video, we're going to look at how we can build logic around this mosaic, how we can transfer it back and forth, how we can create our own applications that use our own mosaics. So stay tuned for that. And uh, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this content, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, and uh, leave a comment if you have any uh, suggestions or comments overall. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.